Here's another one that I just learned about this week, and I'm going to do my best to explain it and quickly, but it's called the strong nuclear force. The strong nuclear force. And I'm not talking about Star Wars, like the light side and the dark side. Not that at all. But we all probably know that the small, basically the smallest um, thing that we can conjure in our mind is the atom. Right? And the atom has all these electrons that are spinning around. And at the center of the atom is something called the nucleus. And the nucleus is made of something called protons. Now, I had to work really hard this week to come up with, to figure this out. So you should be proud of me. But also something I learned is that every proton in a, an atomic nucleus is positively charged. Every single one. Whether it's 2, 3, or 100, or 96 I think is the most. No matter how many protons, it's, they're positively charged. Have you ever tried to take a magnet and take the same pole of the magnet and bring them together? What, what happens when you do that? They push us away. That, that's right. Because those, they, they, they repel one another. It's the same principle on the atomic level. So every single atom in your body, every single atom in the universe is made up uh, of, of these atoms that have a, a particle in the middle, or these particles in the middle called protons, that every second of every day since creation have been trying to push away from one another. I don't want to scare anybody. Please don't be scared. But all of us are about 2% away from blowing up right now. <laughs> Because the protons in every single uh, uh, atom are trying to push away. But here's, here's so cool. Here's cool. Here's where that strong nuclear force comes into. Physicists say we have something called the strong nuclear force. Trust us, but we cannot see it. Trust us, it's there, but we cannot take a picture of it. Trust us that it's there. It is completely invisible. Nobody has ever observed it. We don't know where it came from and we don't know how it works. But we know it's there because it holds everything together. Here's what they also discovered. I love this. Fine-tuning. Absolutely razor's edge. They've determined that if the nuclear force was different in our world by 2% stronger, if it was 2% stronger, a little less than 2% stronger, nothing would have ever formed and we would just have one great big atom. Just one atom. No world, no people, no nothing. Just atom. One. But if it were less than 2% weaker, every one of us would fly apart at 8,000 miles a second. You okay, Em? You all right? Some, I've heard people say, I feel like I'm coming apart. Well, you might be. You could be. It's possible. But not because there's something called the strong nuclear force that is invisible, that cannot be seen. Don't know where it came from. Don't know how it works. But it holds everything together. Listen to Colossians chapter 1. You'll never hear this the same either. Colossians 1. It made me cry every time I've read it. Colossians 1, 15 through 17. The Son is the image of the invisible God. The firstborn over all creation. Let's pause just real quick. Scientists or people sometimes make fun of us because we believe in something we cannot see. But they're telling us, there, and there is a strong nuclear force, but they're like, we cannot see it. But we know it's there. For in Him, Jesus, all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and Invisible. Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. This will get you. He is before all things and in him all things what? Hold together. Almost like we've been finely tuned. 